Hey guys, it's Jesse from freeholdwater.au and leewater.au and today's video is going to be a full review of Emerald's 220 and 270 all-in-one systems. What's remarkable about these systems is that even though they're a single unit system with a single compressor that sits on top of the tank, they're actually ranked really, really highly. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that there is a big difference between split unit systems and single unit systems. Splits tend to be much more efficient because they have larger compressors and these compressors have been around for a long, long time. They've been developed for many decades. But Emerald has recently come out with a new unit which ranks number one in terms of all single unit systems, but it actually ranks number seven in over 240 heat pumps that are available. And that includes the majority of those systems uh, being split unit systems. So it's really, really impressive. And we'll talk a little bit about how they've been able to do that. Um, but this is a really efficient system. So we're gonna dig into the specifications of the system, the efficiency, uh, the, uh, the options that it has, uh, including a, a booster option, uh, it's DC inverter, uh, warranties, and the smart features that it has in terms of Wi-Fi connectivity. So let's jump into it. So one of the coolest things about this system is actually the design of the system itself. It is actually a really nice looking design. It looks very modern and sleek. Most single unit systems look pretty good too. People actually tend to prefer the single units because um, they uh, take up less space, but obviously split units are more efficient. And obviously this is the, not the most efficient um, system that is available in the scheme. If you're looking for that, there are other options, including Sanden, uh, Emerald's own split unit system, and Ecogenica. And actually Medea's uh, split system as well. So there are other options, and if you're looking for a split, I recommend watching our video uh, on, on, split, on the top 13 systems that you can get. But this is actually an amazing compromise between getting an efficient system and a system that doesn't actually take up too much space. So we can see the features, it has a built-in electric heater, and we're gonna talk a lot about that. Uh, it's got a high efficiency DC inverter, which is actually what enables it to be so efficient. So this is actually one of the cool things about these schemes is that they do provide a lot of money and incentive for companies like Emerald to go in and produce really efficient systems. The way that subsidies are actually granted are the more efficient your system is, the more certificates that it gets, and certificates are basically the subsidies. They're, they're the rebates that you get. So the more efficient system you design, the more money you get for it. So there's this cool little incentive structure and Emerald has definitely taken advantage of that to make a really nice system. It's also got Wi-Fi features, which we'll dig into as well, and a five-year warranty on the tank, five years on the, uh, on the unit, uh, meaning the compressor and two years labor. So the warranty is pretty decent. It's actually quite good, but it's not the best warranty in terms of heat pumps. So let's jump into more detail about these specifications that are available. So obviously we've got the 220 liter and the 270 liter system. The, um, the systems both come with electric backup options. And the dash one that you see here just refers to the fact that this is a commercial uh, option which needs to run hotter and is actually less efficient. But this video is not actually digging deep into the commercial options. So just to give you a little overview, the noise level of the system is pretty standard for a heat pump. It's towards the lower end at 48 decibels. Um, and there is the electric option as well. It's a 1.6 kilowatt electric um, booster. So it's not, it's not really powerful to heat up your hot water if your um, heat pump does actually die and it's going to cost a lot of money to do so. So I'll dig into the booster now. The booster will only turn on automatically when your, the temperature reaches below negative seven degrees. In Australia, that's not going to happen in 1990, 99% of cases. It's just not gonna happen that you reach below negative seven degrees. You'd be lucky in a lot of places to reach below negative three degrees. Maybe Canberra every once in a while has negative 
four degrees and a little bit of snow um, and it makes the news but that's that's really as low as it's going to get so you, the heat pump still works fine in those temperatures so the booster is not really necessary for those temperatures and when the booster does turn on it's going to cost a lot of money um, there is an option to turn on the booster whenever you want or need to and a possible circumstance of that would be if you've got uh, maybe a family of five or six and you've got a 270 liter tank but you've got some relatives coming over you know grandma and grandpa they're coming over uh, in that case what you want to do there is you can turn on the booster and temporarily uh, you're going to have a faster recovery rate um, and you're going to potentially have no issues with your hot water. It's not going to affect the size of the tank, obviously, you're limited to 270 liters, so if you use that all at once, um, you know, you're still gonna not have the hot water that you want. So uh, it, it is a useful option in those circumstances where you do have one or two extra people and you're finding that you're running out of hot water. It actually looks like the compressor that they have for the 220 and the 270 liter is the same, just based off of the input power and the heating capacity of the units. The recharge rate for these units um, is a very efficient unit, but it is quite slow. Uh, if we just compare that to uh, some other system, if we're looking at split unit systems, uh, you can see Sandon has a input of 2.3 but a output of six, kilo, uh, yeah, six kilowatts. Ecogenica tends to revolve around um, upwards of three kilowatts. So it is a little bit slower at heating up hot water, but that's fine. It's a very efficient system and it doesn't need to be extremely quick at heating up hot water. Just bear in mind, if you do get this system, uh, it's going to be a little bit slower to heat up the hot water. Okay, so we've uh, discussed warranty. Um, the only other thing I really want to discuss is the smart features of the system. So I think these are really cool. Um, you've got an ease of control, so you can turn on your hot water system anytime, anywhere. Um, you can monitor your system, which is actually quite useful. You can see the usage that your hot water system has. And one of the coolest things about this and, and about the Wi-Fi connectivity is if there are any issues with your hot water, you're not going to typically check on your hot water every day. You're going to install it, love it for a week, and then you're going to completely forget about it, right? So um, what is useful is if the compressor breaks down or any part of the system breaks down, Emerald actually has that diagnostic tool to know what's happening in, in real time and actually call you concerning that and organize a repair. So it is cool how all of that is automated. You can turn on the boost mode. There are automations in terms of turning on your hot water whenever you need to and you can even set it up so whenever you do have excess solar the system will just uh, kick on which is pretty cool uh, so to play devil's advocate for these smart features they are pretty cool but when you are installing a hot water system you're not necessarily going to be looking at your hot water system every day it's might be something you open once or twice and then never really look at again unless for some reason you have a reason to check your hot water constantly i think it is a cool feature but i don't think it's necessary when it comes to hot water systems so all in all this is an amazing system it's the most efficient uh single unit system out there i actually did want to show you the actual um table for this so the victorian energy upgrades have released their own um efficiencies of all the systems in the scheme and they do that to calculate the rebates so we've got annual average energy savings and we've got annual average COPs so you can see amazingly uh, that Emerald has a 220 litre single unit system that appears in the top 13 heat pumps which is really really cool and the 270 is 200 uh, is, is placed 20th of over 240 systems in the scheme um, and obviously in terms of single unit systems, the Emerald 220 and the 270 are ranked number one and two. And then we've got the Ecogenica 260, Renai's system, Emerald's commercial 220 liter unit and Quantum's units as well.
So it is a really good system and it's a great compromise between efficiency and um, design. Um, it's a very slick design. So that's my video. The next video is going to be a little comparison between Ecogenica and Emerald as per one of my comments. If you have any other uh, video suggestions or questions or ideas, just leave a comment and I'll get back to that as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a very merry, happy Christmas. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you're interested in upgrading your hot water system, we can definitely help you out. Just visit freehotwater.au, no .com.au, just .au, and we'll be happy to help you out. Fill out an inquiry form, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching the video.